Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Laurie. Today I want to share with you some experience about how to manage expectations of others and don't be so sensitive to others' reaction. So I will share my own experience with you first. During my growing up years, I actually developed a very independent personality that basically I can solve everything on my own. And I'm proud of that. But recently, when I have the chat with my friends, I just realized this independence is me avoiding one thing, which is relying on others. This evidence maybe comes from a kind of trauma because you have a high expectations of others, but very easily to be disappointed. So I realized that to the outside, my appeal is strong, independent, confident, not afraid of anything. But to be honest, I know the inner is I'm very timid. I feel getting hurt and being overwhelmed by my emotions. At times, I even want to be an unfeeling machine so that I can protect very well myself. Yeah, I know this evidence can protect you from lots of harm, but at the same time, you lost the chance to be loved. And this is not a healthy environment that we should live because people should live in a warm and loving environment. and. For that, we should take the initiative to create such a condition for ourselves. So slowly, I start to show my soft side to my friends, to the people around me, and I truly receive lots of positive response. But at this time, the problem came out again that I used to have high expectations of them and lead to the fact that if they slightly fail to fulfill my expectations, I'm very easy to get hurt and I would suffer a lot inside. So I start to wonder if I made the wrong choice, if I shouldn't reveal myself to them. But from my experience, I want to tell you this is absolutely not a wrong choice. It's just we should know how to manage our expectations of others. Because no one in the world can do what you want 100%, not even your family, not even yourself. It's just we should respect the individual difference and we should respect other people's life. The respect is also a fundamental condition between friends, right? So I was thinking, how can I manage my expectations? And here's a suggestion and a way for you to try that I suggest you get into a habit of preparing plan B. Let's make example. If you want to ask your friend to have the dinner or lunch or have the day together, before you ask him, you should tell yourself that we have two plans. So the plan A is the perfect plan for ourselves that we can hang out with our friends and we will spend a very nice day together. But if your friend has something else to do, if they already have the plan for the day, you should tell yourself, okay, that's fine. We have plan B. Plan B is we can try this new restaurant we can visit some place by ourselves, that's fine. We can enjoy our own time. And at the same time, please focus on the fact that your friend just have something else to do on that day. Do not focus on the fact that he rejected you. He didn't mean to reject you. That's it. Do not overthinking and do not overwhelm from it. We need to give our expectations some space to be able to breathe that can also help us to stabilize and calm our emotion as well i know for a highly sensitive person this is not easy things but i want to tell you from my experience there are 
So many people around you, they have been loving and protecting you for a long time. It's just maybe you don't know. And perhaps they love you in a different way. So don't judge them from one of your stereotype. And don't be sensitive to build a high wall because that will make you ignore how much they care about you, how much they love you. You should to feel it. And you have to believe that you are the best in the world. You deserve all the loves and you deserve all the beautiful things. There is a law of attraction that I also highly recommend you to focus because when you focus on the positive things, the positive things will come to you. So just don't worry too much, just to relax and enjoy the world to max. So this is the thing I want to share with you today and I hope you're enjoying that. And please share your experience and your feeling in a comment. And uh, see you next video. Bye.